Okay, so first I'm going to start off with the Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. And this is the container that it comes in. So I just put a little bit on my hand and I'm gonna spread it out on my face. It feels very moisturizing, which is good because I moisturized my face probably a few hours ago. So this is adding some moisture back in. And hopefully this smooths out my fine lines so that the application of the foundation goes on flawless. So it feels very nice and smooth. It doesn't even feel like a primer. It honestly feels like a regular moisturizer. So this is Rihanna's Pro Filter Sponge that I got. So I'm gonna use this. I usually use the Beauty Blender, but I'll see if this one works even better. I like how it's like flat here, so maybe you'll be able to kind of get it in your skin a lot more. Okay, so the thing is, I color match myself to 370 at Sephora, but then um, I received a 385 as well, and that also matched me too. So the thing is, it does kind of oxidize a bit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try 370 on one side and 385 on the other side, and then I'm going to see kind of what it like turns out to be, because I know for a fact I am a 350 in the wintertime, but now that I'm a bit darker in the summertime, um, I'm either 370 or 385. Okay, so this is what it looks like. The packaging is totally different from the matte one, but it has the same amount of fluid in it, so I'm going to just do a couple of pumps. So this is a 370, so the lighter one will be on this side of my face. It really does oxidize, um, not like too, too much, but enough where you can go with a lighter foundation shade. But yeah, so at first I was like, oh my gosh, this is way too light. Cause I definitely did get darker since I last matched myself this summer. So I went into Sephora probably like, I'll be like, two weeks ago, but I, I definitely have gotten darker in those two weeks. So maybe 385 is better, but I definitely tested this out a little bit the other day before I recorded this, and I noticed that the 385 looked a bit too dark, but I mean, it depends, because I have like some dark areas around my face and then some light areas, so I feel like this color matches the light areas of my face, and then the darker one matched the darker area of my face. So the thing is, sometimes what I do is if I have something that's a bit too light, um, or I want to darken it up, I just kind of go overboard with my bronzer and then everything else just kind of lines up perfectly. So we shall see what it looks like. So far, I feel like it's just blending in very nicely. Oh my god, you guys, like, this is spreading across so easily. And it's not like greasy or too liquidy or too shiny, which a lot of like hydrating ones look like. Even though I have normal to dry skin, sometimes some of them get too oily for me. But this is perfect. I know the matte, the matte one was way too drying for me. So I was hoping she would come out with something like this and I'm so happy she did. So I feel like a little goes a long way because I feel like that's pretty good coverage for only having like less than two pumps. And I'll put on a little bit more just to show you guys like that it is buildable because I saw a couple of tutorials already on this and I noticed that you get definitely way more coverage without it looking cakey or anything like that if you do another layer. But this feels really like soothing and I don't know, it doesn't even feel like I'm putting foundation on my face. It feels like another like moisturizer to be honest which I love, and like the spreadability is so good. Maybe it's a sponge too, who knows, but I really, really like it. This might be my favorite foundation. We'll see though how it wears throughout the day because that is definitely important as well. But I just like how it literally looks like skin, you guys. Like it looks like I'm not even wearing any makeup, but I still have that coverage, you know what I mean? So, okay, so I think that's blended in pretty good. So now I'm going to go to this side of my face with 385. So this is the 385, the darker shade. So I'll just put it all around. So that's one pump, one and a half kind of thing, and I'll add more if I need. So I am using the camera on the mirror, so I really hope that this turns out like really good with the application because I can't see as clear as I usually would. That's fine. It should be fine. So yeah, I just really like the way this foundation feels. I don't know why, I've never noticed how foundation feels until I put this on. It's just, I don't know, soothing to the skin, it's nice. Especially for someone with dry skin, I just 
I have to always make sure I moisturize my skin properly before I put any makeup on. Or maybe it's a primer that's helping out too, actually. Because I don't know, usually my face doesn't look like this right away when I put on makeup. Like, usually it takes a while to set in for it to like look like skin. You know what I mean? Like, I could just see the makeup, even though if I put very little on. But this one I feel like is just looking straight away like skin. So this is a darker one. Do you guys notice any changes yet? Do you guys notice a difference? Because I feel like the undertones are slightly, slightly different. I think... The 385 is a bit warmer as well, because my under I think my undertone is neutral, so so I'm done with the 385 side. And as you can see, I have like this like little scar on my forehead because I had this um extraction that like basically never healed. So you can see it kind of still seeps through. So it is a medium coverage, I would say. It's not like completely hiding it, but if I wanted to, I could have put color corrector on there, um, or put maybe a bit more layers at the top. But I want it to look natural still so I don't really care if it's showing a little bit so it's very very similar as you can see like of course this looks a bit darker um, this like looks like extra tan kind of thing for me this looks more true to my color but still a little more pale but once I put in like the bronzer it look good but I am going to I'm gonna show you guys how it's gonna look when it oxidizes because this will look more true to my color I'm gonna just like color correct around my eyes really quickly and then I'm gonna show you guys the concealer as well Okay, so I finished color correcting around my eyes to cover those dark circles. And now I'm gonna try the Pro Filter Hydrating Concealer. So I got the 350. They sent me a 350, and I don't know, it might be too light, but we'll definitely see. I know a lot of people like their concealers to be a bit lighter, but for me, I kind of like um, the same skin tone, maybe slightly brighter. I would have preferred to try the 370 concealer. I feel like that would have been my perfect match. But this actually, oh, once you blend it in, it's actually not as light as I thought it would be. So that's nice, actually. Oh my god, look how easy that was to blend in. Oh my gosh. I almost feel like I don't have to, like, even set anything. I don't know, but maybe I should just in case it gets greasy. Okay, so I set my under eye slightly with um, setting powder. And um, I didn't do the whole face, though, because I still want, like, the dewy look to come through. So I finished my bronzer, my blush and a little bit of highlighter and I'm gonna just kind of spray a little bit of setting spray. This is gonna set everything in and make it look even more natural. So I'm just gonna like let it air dry. And so far I love it, honestly. Like, sorry, I'm like looking at an actual real mirror here. But this is probably the most natural but still coverage look I've ever experienced, to be honest. Um, and I just love how easy it was to apply. It was just, I don't know, it feels nice on the skin. It doesn't feel drying, it doesn't feel too hydrating. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm going to kind of see how my skin looks in a few hours. I'm gonna update you guys and uh, see if it does hold the test. Okay, so this is what my foundation looks like after wearing it for about like three to four hours. So. I want to say that it actually still looks really really good I do have a little bit of like smile lines but I always have that with like every foundation so yeah I wanted to say that like it looks really really natural on my skin and usually with my face like it takes a long time for foundation to settle in and it actually looks more natural like a few hours later but I feel like as soon as I put this on it looked really natural and it stayed looking natural the whole time this is the side that had the 385 color and then this is the 370 so I definitely feel like the 370 looks better on my face but you can't tell the difference because I have bronzer and a little bit of blush and highlighter, so I feel like it kind of tied in the whole look. I definitely feel like I can go with both colors, especially if I get darker, I can just stick with the 385. So yeah, this is my review and I really like it. I feel like this is going to be like my favorite foundation ever because it was very easy to apply. It was actually true to my skin color and it was very hydrating but not like shiny or greasy and oily. So if you have like normal to dry skin, I definitely feel like you should definitely check this out. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the results. Do you guys feel like which side looks better on me? If you guys can even tell the difference. And uh, let me know if you guys are going to try it out and it launches on August 15th. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like my video, go ahead and subscribe, comment, like, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.